Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm going to be uh, doing something I haven't quite done yet, but it's going to be uh, basically a comparison of my, probably my two most favorite engines. Uh, so I'll be doing it with Game Maker Studio 2 and Click Team Fusion 2.5. So let's first do it with um, Game Maker Studio 2. And the one thing I really like about Game Maker Studio 2 is the interface. So the interface is amazing. Um, as of right now, Click Team Fusion 2.5 does not have the best interface. Uh, but it is getting a facelift here in a couple of days. Um, version 2. Point, uh, or 294 is coming out and it looks really, really good. So. The interface, I would definitely say, as of right now, uh, Game Maker Studio 2 uh, would take the win. Uh, but we're going to be doing uh, basically a platformer game really quick. So, uh, there we go. I created the new project. Let me create the new project here. And, okay, so now I'm going to first create the game and in uh, Game Maker Studio 2 and then I'll do it in Click Team Fusion 2.5 and we'll kind of compare the two and see how it goes from there. All right, everyone. Well, that's pretty much it for Game Maker Studio 2. Uh, as you can see, it was a lot of math using variables. Uh, but this is how it's done in Game Maker Studio 2, and it's great. you got to use code. Um, it's a lot different than Click Team Fusion 2.5 for sure, uh, which you'll see right now.
And there it is with Click Team Fusion 2.5. So that was the comparison between Game Maker Studio 2 and Click Team Fusion 2.5. Uh, Click Team Fusion 2.5 is definitely the easier of the two. You can quickly prototype and develop games using it. Whereas with Game Maker, you have uh, a little bit more control because it is all code. Um, but otherwise, that's going to be it, everyone. Um, with the two engines, I've been able to create whatever I want with either one. Um, with Click Team Fusion, you have to know some tricks. Uh, with Game Maker Studio, you have to know programming. So uh, those are your little caveats there. But with that, I'll see you in the next one.